What, how do you think about the line that's crossed where potentially too much is detrimental for longevity? Yeah, well, so the clients that I work with are often, for want of a better term, fitness fanatics, and many of them exercise every day. And what we see in response is a, a spike in cortisol, and that will age you. There's no doubt about that. And so to, you can overdo it. You can overstress the body. And so my recommendation or advice is every other day exercise, let your body rest. And that's also true for some of these supplements. I occasionally skip a day and let my body recover. And, you know, that's, I think the recipe for, for success is that just going full bore the whole time is, is not going to be optimal. You do need those rest periods. And then what about hot, cold therapy and, and how you view that right now? Well, COVID makes it a little tough unless you have these in your, in your house, which I, I don't, but I used to do cold plunges. I used to do cycles of four degrees Celsius, which it will, you know, almost shivering cold water up to my neck, stay in there for as long as I could bear, which was about five minutes, jump out, go in a sauna for 20 minutes, feels great. And then repeat that a few times. And I, I never felt better after that. You know, it may not make you live longer, but you certainly feel invigorated. But the science is really getting stronger on that. I, w I would say that five years ago, we didn't know, but now we do know that sauna protects you against heart disease. If you do it regularly, I would say at least do it once a week. And cold plunges are increasingly thought to be helpful for a reason that's interesting. What it does is it activates the production of brown fat, which exists mostly in your back. And brown fat is super healthy. It puts out signals that increase your metabolism. And also, again, this adversity signal that your body will defend itself better. And I think we're just going to learn more and more that keeping your body or getting your body out of the comfort zone in temperature wise and oxygen wise and nutrition wise is the trick. So in the spirit of democratization, what does that practice look like in the shower? Can we hack it in the shower? With temperature well of course you can uh just don't turn on the hot water and get under there for a few minutes but for some reason i can't do that myself but if you can i think it'd be great i instead like to turn it up to almost scalding hot hope that's mimicking a sauna but yeah it, all of that i i totally would do that if if i could manage it but i, I just love warm showers in the morning so it's not for me <laughs>